What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to give my review score predictions for Returnal. That's right. The time is here. You guys may know if you've uh, been around the channel for a while. I love doing these review score predictions. They're a time to talk about the game or the movie, whatever it is, probably one last time before it releases. It's kind of my last impressions of it, but also gives us a chance to look at what I think review scores for the game could be, okay? And I think that obviously every situation uh, is kind of different. I am so excited for Returnal. I've been, I've been pumping this game up for actually for quite a while, for many, many months, but especially the last couple months, I've been really trying to just put as much as I can into this game. We've talked about the worries of this game that I have. We've talked about why I'm convinced it'll be good. And yeah, you can actually have both. I'm, I'm actually only concerned about the price, and I'm only concerned about how well this game sells. I'm not actually concerned about much when it comes to the quality of this game, okay? But I want to look at the review scores and what they could potentially be. And in order to do that, what I want to do is I want to look back at some of the best housemark games because you know this game is going to be different but it really does remind me of Resogun it really does remind me of Next Machina and so when I think to those games I say okay what did people say well the reviews for Resogun remember back in 2013 this was a free game on PS Plus and that's kind of uh, you know that's important to remember it got an 84 they got a 60 uh, out of 66 critics that reviewed it it got an 84 I can't actually believe it only got a 7.7 .7 uh, based off user scores because I absolutely adore that game and then you can look to my favorite housemark game, which maybe actually is the highest rated housemark game, Next Machina. Now, I don't know. I'm just looking at this now. I, I've always assumed it was only ever called Next Machina. For some reason on Metacritic, it's called Next Machina Death Machine, and there's no such thing as Next Machina on Metacritic. I, I, I've always just thought it was called Next Machina. But anyway, that got an 88 based off of 47 critics, and they got an 8.0 uh, for the user scores. Okay, so that's kind of, in my opinion, that's what we're working with. I believe Dead Nation got in the sevens. You got games like Alienation. You even had the game like Outland. These are games, in my opinion, and even Matterfall. Really, those are the three kind of mediocre, I would say. Like, I really love Super Stardust, and uh, even Dead Nation I actually really love. But those games, I think, came in kind of on the low end uh, of the scale. I was very excited. Actually, I was excited for all of them, and just all of them, uh, those three in particular let me down I think Returnal is going to do really good it's going to and by really good I mean in terms of critics in terms of what people are going to say about this game it is one of the things I feel most confident in and so probably because of that because the world hates me it'll say when the game comes out it'll just be a pure disaster which again I'm not I'm not wishing I'm going to knock on some wood later to make sure I don't jinx myself but no I think this could be well, an 88 is actually very, very high for Next Machina. So I don't know if it'll next, uh, necessarily beat that. But I think high 8s. That's kind of what I predict. I normally like to give myself a range. I normally give myself like 3, 4 points. So let me say, I'll say 8.6 or an 86 to a 90. That's that's going to be the range that I'll predict. And, I, you know, I get a lot of things wrong. I predict a lot of things. I have a lot of theories. I have a lot of discussions for not just review scores, for a lot of things. Review scores are generally is what I get pretty darn accurate. I've been right. I've actually been on the money for several games or movies that I've done this for. So, so take that for what it's worth. I mean, again, you, you don't have to listen to me. I definitely want to hear you know, your opinion in the comments below. But... I really, when I look at this game, I see high eights. I see a game that has so much potential to be really good. And then you can maybe call it underrated, but again, it's a $70 game, and we've had that discussion before. Can you call a game that's $70 and that maybe some people think should be less than $70? Can you call it underrated? I guess in certain circumstances you can, especially if nobody buys the game, but at the same time, you're charging full price you're charging as much as you possibly can for a game so that's a you know that's that's a side kind of topic but that definitely is a an interesting one I just look at this game and think it's going to be so good I really do I think the shooting mechanics I think how it feels uh we've said this before in past videos Returnal more than any game that I've recently I've talked about you know hundreds of games in the probably thousands of games actually in the years I've been on YouTube but of I guess of recent okay and of games I can think of like on the top of my head there's really not a game that I think is more reliant on gameplay and doesn't care and I'm not saying the game doesn't care but I don't care about the story whether it's good or bad almost at all I do get that return on one of the big things with it is that, yeah, it actually does have a story now. It has a central character. It has a story. It has a plot. Um, and it's, you know, that's really the first time that Housemark has done it. And that can actually, I would, I would think, I would say, 
elevate the game into a new level, not just of, okay, this is no longer like an, an indie top-down action game, but this is now a, a legit, I mean, they call themselves a triple, they call it a triple A game. It really is. It really is. It's got the character. It's got a story. It's got the gameplay mechanics. It's got the budget. It's got the graphics. All really, every single thing is of triple A level. You know what I mean? Uh, and so does it kind of earn that, right? Again, I, I've never been worried about the gameplay whatsoever. The gameplay sucks. I will be. I, I don't even know how shocked I would be. I, I would have to try to put it. I, I would. Uh, I, I can't show my face because we're not at 50k yet. But I would be very like pressured by myself to to show my face because I, the the stunned look on my face would be something to see. I truly believe so because I would not be able to believe it. I think the gameplay is going to be completely fine. And I think for a game like this, like I was saying earlier, the gameplay is the most important thing. The story can be good and that'll elevate it. The story can be bad. But the interesting thing with this game is what I'm not sure on is if the story is bad, I'm not sure that immediately means the game gets tanked. The game, you know, gets pulled down with it. I think it's definitely likely. I think it's uh, it would probably happen, but I don't think it's the most likely thing that could ever happen. If the story sucks, but it's just like the, the most fun game you've ever played or just I'm not even, you know, because everybody has their different preferences, right? Some people may think Fortnite's the, the most fun game, Apex Legends, uh, Call of Duty, like just trying to, you know, uh, Mortal Kombat, just trying to think of different genres of games. I think if you're into this style of game and they nail it, I don't think anything else can really hurt it. You know what I mean? So that's what's going to be interesting with these review scores is where it lands. Uh, well, obviously where it lands, but like why it landed in a certain spot. So if it gets in the high eights, low nines even, that I to me that would mean like everything gets, you know, everything works. Um, what well, will be slightly annoying and then kind of comes down, I mean, obviously all this is opinionated and obviously all this comes down to our own, you know, preferences and stuff like that. But if the game gets like a, a, like in the 60s or in the 70s, and I know that's going quite low the other way, but if it got that and like the reason is because the story and character and stuff like that, that doesn't work, then that's going to be one of those things where it's like I, I I always question gaming journalists and gaming reviews, right? I never I don't make my decisions based off reviews personally. I just like to look at them, okay? But if it got like sixes and sevens, and they say the story is god awful and it really pulls down the whole experience. That's something where it's like, all right, hold the brakes. Maybe it didn't deserve the six. I'm gonna play it and let's see. You know what I mean? And let's see if the story is so overwhelmingly distracting that you know you can't focus on the gameplay or something like that, right? But yeah, this is a this is a rare case, guys, really. As I've talked about, I've been doing, you know, review predictions for uh, actually a couple of years now. I, I've, I, it was a series kind of I came up with. I really love doing it. And there's been a handful of games. I think one of the most recent ones would be like Crash 4. When we were going into Crash 4, my general thought of that game was just overwhelmingly positive, And it was just, I feel safe. And safe not in like a bad, sometimes if you say you feel safe about a game or a movie, that can be, you know, turn into a bad thing, right? Where it's like, oh, is the movie too safe or is the game too safe? I just feel like a lot of the signs were that Crash 4 was going to be fine. And it was. The game didn't sell all that amazingly, which kind of sucked, but the game was just flat out good. And maybe, I mean, I would even say better. It was like great, maybe even amazing from start to finish. You know what I mean? There wasn't really anything to get worried about with the game going in, and there wasn't anything after you played it where you're like, eh, that was a severe problem. No, there was things here and there that you could probably fix. Returnal, I honestly see pretty close. The the story and characters definitely yet to be decided, but like in terms of gameplay and in terms of like overall fun and challenge, right? There's definitely going to be challenge here. I just feel really safe with this game where it's like I feel like it's going to work. It may not be worth 70, it may not sell well, the story may not be good, but like overall I feel like at least I mean at the very least the gameplay will be rock solid. Absolutely rock solid. And then at best Everything else works, and this is like a really big hit, which would be absolutely amazing. So let me know, guys, in the comments below. As you can tell, I'm excited. I've been excited again for, for this game really ever since they announced it. I've always been a house smart guy. I always will be. I would love Sony to purchase them if that's something that they would be uh, looking to. I really, just keep making games. Just, Sony could purchase them or not purchase them. I will always buy house smart games, whether they turn out to be good or bad. So let me know in the comments below. What do you think? What, what's the review score that you uh, you think that critics would give this game? What do you think maybe the positives? negatives of this game will be as always make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up thank you all so much for watching i really really do appreciate it i hope to see you all on the next video